to the next session. Um, I'm joined by a very familiar face, Graham Glue. Graham, how are you doing? I'm okay, thanks. Can you hear me? Yep, we can we hear you. Uh, all good. So we're all working. Um, so this this uh, session, we've got a, a little bit of an announcement. So, uh, Graham, I guess it's um, it's over to you to make the make that. Well, <laughs> we couldn't wait for you, so we announced it on Monday. <laughs> no, definitely. No, we've, um, we've decided to relaunch Formula Woman, and some people will remember that from uh, 17 years ago. And um, yeah, it's uh, it, it, we launched it on Monday, and uh, it's an expression of interest website at the moment. And you would not believe the amount of people that are applying for this. It's it's remarkable. Fantastic. Oh, well, that well, that's great to hear. I mean, one of the I mean, we're, we're going to the depths of it in a minute about the the championship and and how people can get involved and everything else. Um, but let's kind of talk about. How do you feel the comparison is of launching that championship, as you say, back in 2004 versus now? Is it is it not a case of it's a slightly easier now, but is there quite a difference between the two, do you feel? Well, yeah, because in 2004, we launched at the NEC at the Autosport International. Um, we spent a fortune on the launch and um, it was it was a hard launch that was. And this one's a bit of a, a much softer launch, to say the least. Yeah, um, because and, and of course, then we didn't have social media. It yeah, was, uh, we relied on um, on the, the traditional media journalists. Um, we got a lot of publicity. All the nationals covered it. We got a lot of TV publicity as well. And eventually what happened was over the period of probably about six months, um, we ended up with nearly 10,000 applications. Wow. <clears throat> and already we're not there yet so far in a week but uh, we're heading that way it's, it's looking good and at the time it was all to, uh, all about inviting novice drivers and it's kind of the same thing again but it's interesting because quite a few girls have applied or registered for the uh, for the interest side of things that are actually racing so we're now sort of in a bit of a dilemma do we do we accept them under a different kind of format or do we say no sorry you've got to be a novice but we want to make it very fair and last time we found 16 girls that were very capable racers by the time we uh, we went through the training tim harvey and i were doing it at the time fantastic okay well so there's um so kind of talk us through the the stepping stones of 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 how the championship does work yeah, well, it's a competition rather than a championship at the moment. And as I've said, it's an expression of interest website, yeah. which is formulawoman.co.uk, not .com. We had .com uh, the first time around, but it's .co.uk. And um, the expression of interest is to, it's very simple. All, all people have to do, all women have to do that are interested in driving is register their, um, uh, their email address, their name, and why they want to be a Formula Woman. Um, and then we move on to the next stage, which will probably be in the new year, because we've we've kind of so we've marketed this on a, a post-COVID type of initiative, mm. because we don't know when we're going to be completely out of COVID. But when we are, I think um, what we'll do then is we will launch the application process so that people can actually apply and um, give us all their information, and then we'll move on to the assessment days. But the idea is to try and base it on what we did in the first place which is lots of different tests reactions tests physical t tests um, interviews and of course a driving test and the driving test um, will be done at circuits around the uk um, we last time we covered scotland northern ireland and wales we will do the same again um, i can't say too much about the the tv side of things i can't say too much about the car side of things but what i can say is that this project, which has been on the back burner for 15 years, is well and truly up and running again. Well, great stuff. Well, I think it's um, you know you pretty. You can't enter, by the way. No, well, you know, <laughs> no, I know. Damn, God damn it. Um, so, well, look, I mean, for 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 a lot of people, they may or may not know you, but you've obviously got you know, a great, um, great understanding of the sport, obviously launching that championship. Um, you've got your son who's raced on the uh, soccer package um, as well. So kind of do you want to tell people about bit about yourself and your, your experiences. Yeah, well, Philip was one of the instructors in the early days. He's a bit older now and uh, he's still doing a lot of coaching. So 
Um, I'd like to get Philip involved again. Um, he's a big believer in Formula Woman. He saw what, was, what we did and how, we, how it worked last time. And, um, yeah, I mean, my history goes back to actually um, designing and racing a, a Formula Ford many years ago, which was a complete disaster, I may add. Um, but having said that, my father bought me a Formula Ford and I went racing. And then, as we do, I ran out of money. So what we did was we rented our car out, and that's what, when I started up the racing school at Cadwell Park. In fact, the very first racing school day at Cadwell, there was four people, one car, and it just grew from there. And we were one of the biggest racing schools in, in the world. We had people coming from all over the world to come and re drive our cars because we had this philosophy that you, we don't teach you to drive a racing car, we teach you to race a racing car. Yeah. And that was a very good strap line because it, 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 it invited... It, it, provided a lot of very successful drivers to come along and uh, come to our racing school. So after the racing school, um, I ended up getting involved in driver management and I was managing a young driver called Oliver Gavin. At the time was um, uh, racing Formula First. We had our own team. Um, he then went on to be British Formula Three champion and he went on to be a test driver for Formula One in the Pacific Grand Prix car. Neither of you guys will remember that, but um, it was an interesting period that got me into Formula One, particularly on the marketing, sponsorship and hospitality side. So um, after Pacific, unfortunately, folded after two years, I then went to Arrows, worked for a guy called Jackie Oliver, who still does some historic racing, um, and then Tom Walkinshaw. And then uh, I'd started to do a little bit of work with McLaren and uh, Eddie Jordan and Alan Prost with uh, mainly the sponsorship side. And that, then after that, I thought, I've had enough of this. I want to do something for women. I want to invite women to come and test their skills. Because let's face it, motorsport is one of the few sports that doesn't have a female category. OK, you've got the W Series, which is great because you've got... Um, you've got a, a, an opportunity for women who've raced from probably the age of five, six in go-karts and they've developed their skills. But I want to make one point very clear, and that is that the winner of this competition this time round will not be competing, or the winners, should I say, will not be competing against each other. They will be competing against their counterpart gender. So that's a little clue as to what the way we're heading with this. Uh, okay. Oh. That, that sounds, that sounds that's pretty interesting. That's my history. After Formula Woman, I then went on to do lots of coaching, driver management, and um, uh, consulting mainly, motorsport consulting. But this has been on the back burner, and it's been a, a bit of a, um, a challenge, really. And I thought, if, if we don't do it now, we'll never do it. And in the middle of COVID, why not? Let's get, let's get the thing going again. Yep. So, so, Graham, what's what's the next step then for somebody? If anybody's, if we've got any uh, females watching this and uh, thinking, actually, this sounds pretty good, do they go to your website just to register their interest? Yeah, they've got nothing to lose. They can register their interest. Just put their name in and their email address, and we will send them uh, a, an acknowledgement email in return. Um, we want to keep everybody updated as we go along. So, once they've registered, they're kind of in, into the inner circle, so to speak. Um, and then the idea is that we will produce an application process once we can know that we're out of COVID, we know which circuits we're doing the assessments. Um, it's, interestingly, I had, um, I had an email yesterday from Stuart Gray at Knock Hill saying, we did Formula Woman for you back in the, the old days. Can we do it again? Well, of course they can. You know, We want to be up in Scotland. We want to be over at Pembury. We want to be... We even went to Kyrgyzstan in Ireland to do the assessment. So we will travel. And interestingly, out of the expression of interest so far, I would say 10% of the interest is coming from overseas. So that's, that could be quite interesting, getting girls from overseas, women coming over here, doing the assessment. We had them last time, but not so many as uh, it looks as though we're going to get this time. Fantastic. Now, I've got to ask as well, Graham, as I've got you here, the picture behind you. Can you tell us the cars and the circuit? I've just caught my eye the whole time you've been on. <laughs> that is a Juan Manuel Fangio, and ah. that is a Mercedes, and it's at Buenos Aires. And I picked that up when I did the last of the Buenos, the Argentinian Grand Prix back in, it would be 1995, I think. 
So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting shot. I mean, I've got pictures all over the place. In fact, I've got a couple of props here for you, if I can get them out. This yeah, is, so. if you can see this, this is actually, oh, yeah. there we go. This is That's actually it. the, um, also, this is signed by the 16 girls that entered, that, that entered the competition last time. This was a, the, the RXA for, uh, Privilege Insurance Formula Woman Championship at Knock Hill. And that was the start and leading that race. I can't, I think it's, um, it is Margot Gardner from Scotland, followed hard on the heels by Natasha Furman, who won the, um, the, the first Formula Woman Championship. Right. Memories, huh? Yeah, I would say. Well, I guess we should also probably touch on the Series Elite side of things, because obviously um, that, that's changed. Oh, I've got one more. To, sorry to interrupt. I've got that's one right. more to show you before we move on i don't know if you can see this one that's a guinness record <laughs> it's supposed to go wow that is wow that is very well <laughs> and that's when we went on to the caterums and we had uh, we set that record at pembury with 62 women competing against each other wow wow it's absolute that, carnage. That is you got, you got the wow in the end wow <laughs> yeah that is our moment <laughs> great stuff um yeah so as i say um the series elite championship as well um in the jaguars so that's that's other thing you've been you've been part of over the last couple of years as well yeah we've, we're going a different route with that now um we've actually taken one car and we've developed it we've developed it um to be an endurance car because one of our drivers is a, a, a guy called emmanuel vinca and um he has been doing a lot of endurance races we did a couple of gt cup races uh, we found that we were not particularly on the pace um we were okay in the, in the damp and wet conditions but we weren't sort of with the i think the classes were against us in a way but it's a great championship and we probably will do some more next year because we've got two or three drivers wanting to do that mm. so we might do some gt cup but as far as emmanuel's concerned we're going to take his car and uh, take it to do things like spa six hours nurburgring and you know really try to go to town on the endurance side of it and also with the Jaguars, we will probably use them for um, part of the process of um, a Formula Woman as well. OK, yeah. We've had a couple of comments come in, actually, as well, uh, Graeme, about this. Mark Grimm says it's a fantastic initiative. Uh, we've got Charlotte Birch racing. She's commented saying she's excited for this. Thumbs up. Uh, and Edward Hardy says it's a brilliant initiative, huge potential. And I think we all agree with that. Well, that's good. I mean, we're get I'm getting some very nice sort of um, comments on LinkedIn and uh, emails. And it always was a good idea, even though I say so myself, but it's an even better idea now because with social media, I think a lot of people said to me back in 2004 and when we did, the, we did it with the caterums that they wish they'd known about it. Well, we, we did as much as we could with all the, yep. you know, the press coverage that we got. Um, so I think with social media, it'll really open the, open the floodgates, hopefully. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm, I've, I've no doubt it. Um, no doubt it will, and I think it's um, you know again, it's it's a shame that you know the events and everything else have, have struggled this year. But hopefully, this is just another platform that you know every time someone else hears about it, it, it kind of spreads the word and extends it that just that little bit further. Yeah, I think if everybody can spread the word, my plan, and hopefully I can do it, this, is everybody will get some kind of an assessment because I think it's important to get people involved and doing things. And even if they don't get through to the next stage, I remember last time people who did the first part, they, they thoroughly enjoyed it. And some of them went off and did their own thing. So it's literally getting women into the sport at, at no cost. It's as simple as that. It's a great opportunity. No, it certainly is. So if anyone wants to, um, any females want to find out more, they can just obviously head over to your website, which yeah. is? formulawoman.co.uk and it's, nice. it's all there it's it's fairly it's a fairly basic site and it's got register your interest on there and um simple as that and we will respond to every single person that uh, registers brilliant okay well uh, well thank you very much for uh, coming on today graham wish you all the uh, all the best with it so keep keep us uh, in the loop and see how things go and um we'll uh, we'll now go to to the adverts ready for the, for the next session but again thank you very much and, and see i just say just, just like to say one thing i was a bit nervous about logging into here but it's a doddle isn't it it's dead easy oh it's yeah. a great yeah. job by the way thank you very much no i appreciate it
Good. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. Anyway. Thanks, Brian. See you soon. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. -bye.